Hello again. Uh, it turns out that I, when I was killing the browsers, <laughs> the thing that was taking up so much CPU was this light stream, which is understandable because it's recording my desktop and my webcam and all that sort of stuff. So um, pretty funny. Cool. So we were playing with Glide. Um, we'd gotten... Let's go back to the home tab. We'd gotten, you know, the one book that we have the content for, um, and then we were doing this filter thing. But um, then I realized, you know what? I am totally bike shedding because what I should be doing is actually looking at. Um, I'm going to remove this. The sorting. Sort by, let's do by title. Cool, no filters, filter by, no filters. Okay. Um, okay, view details. All right, so this view details thing, open link, let's see. Dial phone number, open web view, send email, show form, view address, Zapier. Cool. All right, so we're going to click on this, and it's going to go to this page, the details page. Now, where do you actually? I don't know how you can actually access this. But that's okay. All right, so we have the description, favorite, title, separator, comments, duration. Um, let's add a text and it's the byline style headline two headline three all caps regular All right, let's move this up. This title, we want it to be, oh. We actually want that to be title. And then details is the byline. And then we have the cover image. Sweet. Okay, so let's take this byline out and let's move the duration down below the Rick's text. I don't wanna have comments at the moment. Uh, but let's do okay. We'll we'll just add that as is for now. Um, image is URL. Oh, okay. Got you. Key is favorited. I don't really know what that's doing.
All right, so if we did this, it's that update. What does that look like in data? It's favorited, but by whom? This is like, this is a user specific one, right? So I'm not really sure how that's going to work. That's okay. Okay. I'm going to preview it as somebody else. I really don't know how that works. Okay. Well, let's favorite it. We can go back, and then it's going to be in our favorites. Cool. So here's my question. If we added another sheet, Somehow we have to get the list of, of chapters, right? Media. We can't just do this like for one thing. It has to be in, for an array. Not like for a list of things. Okay, let's just try this. Um, if we were to do chapters, Oh, okay. Um, what were we doing in the other thing? We were doing we're doing chapters. Oh yeah, we weren't going to do that. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. We started going that route, but it's really just the book reference and then the chapter number. Um, so we'll do number. We'll do Brian, and we'll do Emma. All right, and we need to have a relation.
Okay. So this is often sometimes you use um, a thing called a slug, which is just like it's kind of like a unique identifier, but um, it's something often that'll go like in a URL. So like if you were to go to um, I don't know. I'm totally blanking on something. Okay. Okay, yeah, so like this ebook, the web webflow ebook, the no code revolution is is considered the slug of that um that URL. So like you could actually look up this ebook by this slug, if that makes sense. So you might have an ID column which might be like a bunch of random numbers and letters. But it's not human readable, really, right? So this is kind of a human readable thing. Um, so that's kind of what we're doing. We're making something here. We'll do number zero. Um, and we'll call it we'll call it the title of the chapter. Intro. And then let's just kind of do this a few times. We'll do this equals this plus one. Except probably shouldn't leave. I don't know what happens if we leave um, value or equations in here. So paste values only. And then what do we have for Brian? OK, so that's going to be um, let's leave out Brian and Emma for now. So this would be chapter equals I don't know how you do this. <laughs> the king cat. After and then value. That was probably harder than it should have been. And how many chapters are we looking at? I forget already. Data, books, hound, Brian. We've got 15. Cool. 14, 15. This one, this one. And then, yeah, just because I don't know what happens with equations, we'll just space values only. All right. All right. We're going to put one to the left of this called slug. Then we'll use that same value from over here. And then we may as well put a duration in here too. Which we had, I closed it, these ones. How long is that intro? Eight seconds. Uh, I apparently got confused and thought that was 23 hours. It is not. These are all minutes. Format number. 
duration. But we should probably custom format number, more formats. We'll just do minute seconds. Mm. Okay. Format number duration. Let's try adding a bunch of zero zeros at the beginnings for hours. Okay. Cool. Let's try doing that again. Cool, and now we'll add the recording. We'll call this one Brian. Um, Crap. Um, it wanted us to. I wonder what they did in the pod, the other podcast one. Let's let's reclone that podcast and see what they used for that field because they had an audio value in it. And I just deleted it, so I don't remember anymore. All right, so we're gonna clone that same thing. Podcast. Hello. Use this template. All right, so if we were to look at the data in here, in the episodes, audio, it has, it has a play button. Delete. Column type none. Well, we should, to be honest, we should have a row ID in here. We should do that in here too. Well, so they have it as, what is Bud Sprout? 
name of the podcast. So it's just an MP3. All right. Okay, so what happens if what if we just take it from S3 again, which is, I think I've got them up there anyways, or we can paste them up there. Okay, although it's not gonna be very happy with me if I do it on S3. Um, that's okay, we can put it up there for now. So S3 is like, it's good for file storage, but they don't want you for like downloading it and streaming and stuff like that. They want you to do it on top of um, CloudFront. But let's just do, Let's just throw it up here. Actually, I guess I can do it up here. Um, let's do... All right, so let's dump them all. I don't know why it finally connected that one. Let's do a new folder. Down to the Baskervilles, which would be the slug, right? And then let's do Brian. Taking its time, got to upload 130 megs. What is this, cyber? That's not what it used to say. Title. It's one of the weirdest things in this. Like, if I see how it's selected over here in the background, right? I have this files up, that files up, and then that's in the background. If I do this, okay. Well, if it was like this, okay. So you do this, but then you have your, theoretically, this is your focus. I don't know why I didn't just do it. <laughs> I promise I've had to do that before. That's why I typed cyber in there because it's opening cyberduck. Anyway. All right. So let's copy URLs. Theoretically, we should have signed ones, but expires. I don't know. We'll use these ones. All right, Chopper does. Mm -hmm. All these Brian URLs. Uh-huh. Gotta give it the access. 
Very important. So they absolutely hate it when you do this um, because they don't want you to. They don't want you to give permissions. They don't want you to read out of here. But plus, so many people typically. Um, they'll make like the whole like S3 bucket public and that's no bueno. All right, now let's try it. Cool. Sweet. All right, so now we can we have it sortable. We've got a name. We've got a duration. We've got our files. It's actually quite a lot of stuff. All right, what does it look like in here now? Brian URLs is an audio thing. Cool. All right, so we click into this. We've got this. Okay, we've got the one thing. List relation. So in this layout, we want to have chapters. List relation values, chapters. We don't want to have slug in there. Chapters title would be title. Details would be duration. Image, no image. I don't know why it keeps thinking that it should be some sort of image. Okay, that's pretty cool. A book slug. So that's cool. But we don't want it in a sublist like that. We want it here. So how do we do that? Inline list. Values, chapters. Title, title, details would be duration, caption.
I wonder if there's any way to put like um, the audio player inside of it. Okay, I'm getting all messed up here. All right, so inline list. Oh, uh, okay. <clears throat> so let's go back to chapters. It says it didn't have a relation. Let's go back to books <clears throat> and let's add a relation. Chapters. <laughs> Relation Chapters Book Slug. Cool. So let's get rid of the list and here for now. All right, so let's add Sweet, okay, that's a good start. Action. Oh, so close. Dang. Again, we're so close. Actually, looking in, this is just a side thing since it's not seeming to work. Um, but in the actual text, where'd our stuff go? 
Nope, not that one. Yes, this one. So chapter one. Yeah, okay. Just for fun. Just because I'm frustrated by the other stuff. Um, we're going to do chapter decimal. Yeah. Um, I think we can add a divider. I'm just playing around now. Like I said, I'm kind of sad. That's two different strikeouts in one day. Ah, oh, I love that so much. You know what? Forget this whole duration crap. Let's go back to the way it was. And then 
we're just going to tell it it's just a regular text. Um, how do you do data format again? Data. Oh, format, derp, derp. Um, nope, it's not a number. It's just plain text. Take that. So it's cool. Um, so let's go back to the chapter. Um, maybe, I mean, maybe it's not the worst thing in the world to have it like that. But let's add, let's see if we can add something else at the top. We're so close. And considering that it's only been a few hours of work, it's pretty insane. All right, so let's add a relation here back to the book. Right, we've got book slug relation. You know, um, let's break this real quick. I'm going to break it real quick. So books, we've got this. Let's take this thing and we'll call this a book ID instead. It's um, a book ID. And we're going to paste... Um, We're going to go in here to books, take that value, and paste it into book ID. Cool. This is how you would typically do it in a database anyway, is that you would have a, they call it, um, I don't know, like a foreign key back to the original thing. So let's move this column over. Cool. Sweet. Okay. Now we can add a relation column. Uh, relation in book ID matches the value in books row ID. So this would be our book. That's kind of annoying right there. So I'm going to put it back at the end. OK, that works. <sighs> I wonder if we were to take this books thing if we were to make this um, title first, does that fix it over here? Oh, I guess it does. So we'll move this hound of the Baskerville. I don't. I don't know what this column is. Okay. Hound of Baskerville. All right, sweet. Chapter, title, duration. What's cool is that even if this glide thing for some reason doesn't work out, we've got this in a spreadsheet format, a database format that we can use somewhere else. So it's great. All right. <laughs> Oh, 
What was I going to do? Oh yeah. Besides just killing time. Um, so back in here, I was going to see if we can do, let's add a title. Image is, data is, uh, I was seeing if we could do the relation. Do we have a relation back to something? Book, title, uh, byline, and then the image is cover. But we don't want it to be like that. Features, that's not quite what I was looking for. Um, I guess it's not the worst thing in the world. So if we were to go back into the data, can we add a column that's like look up book cover? Um, let's do that book I don't um, let's do book byline. And then let's do a calculated one. I don't know what template is. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, my brain was blinking. Okay, so we're doing chapter N. N is usually like to denote just a number, right? So replacements N with number. Um, All right, so let's see what this still looks like. This would be like um, full name. Uh, or maybe like headline.
All right, so now we've got this stuff. Let's get rid of this relation up here. And back down in here, we're going to do a title. We're actually going to do book title. The details is going to be book byline. The image is going to be book cover. Cool. Images URL. Yep. Let's features. Nope. Let's move that up to the top. And then for this one, we're actually going to do number and then we can just take out this duration and then up in the source column Maybe we don't like the let's just do text. I wonder if there's any way to do it. Can you do like separators? I know there's like an actual separator separator, but. Wait, what happened here? Oh no. Oh yeah. Values are chapters, but we have to fix that data source. Yeah, so back in books, because we got rid of the book slug, which we can delete. Boom, 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 boom. The chapters relation we have to redefine using the book ID. Edit. I guess we have to re-edit. Um, chapters is a relation. Value in row ID is equal that to chapters book ID. Match multiple. And then back in chapters, we can go and do Trying to see if we can make this say chapter zero. Mm -mm. 
So, we're going to have to add this relation back, which is too bad because we had it all formatted, but that's okay. No title. Um, Values, chapters, title is title, details is chapter n, caption is duration, and no image. Compact. What do we have it as before? Because it worked out pretty well. Compact. Image, no image. Thing. I wish we could like, we're gonna have to come cat that. Um, let's try adding like a short title. Uh, template. So Google spreadsheet trim Long string dot dot dot. This is about ellipses. So not that. Concatenate. Extract, join, left. Um, Oh yeah, unless it could like actually wrap, that'd be okay. I mean, I guess it did the dot, dot, dot for me. Um, let me show a few items. Nope.
All right, so we got this, and then we go into here. Cool. Now here's the big question. I wonder if we can actually um, Can we actually close the app and listen to it? Because <laughs> that would be a whole thing. This has actually been a fun project, even though it's been frustrating at times. I'm totally bike shitting now because I don't want to know if it can't play in the background. I'd be so sad. All right, let's see. Let's see, how can I share it? Can I publish your app? All right.
I should probably shut off this music for a sec. Way cool. As you can see it's got got the actual thing that we just made. Chapter three. The problem. I confess that these words a shudder passed through me. Yeah. There was a thrill in the doctor's voice which showed that he was himself deeply moved by that which he told us. Sweet. Okay. Um two things. One in the data back on the chapters. So it was actually nice when it was um we had one more thing, which is chapter M plus title. So what did we have this as? A template? Chapter N title. We're going to place N with number and title with title. Although I wish this could just be intro. But eh, there's worse things in the world. Okay, so back into here. We've got the chapters, intro. Instead of chapter zero up here, it should be. I mean, yeah, it's going to say that up there. Let's do this. Um, the man on the tour. The header up here should be chapter n plus title. Cool. So if we were to reload this page. Chapter eight. First report of yep. Dr. Watson. So it says up at the top, From chapter Mr. 8. And I will follow the course of events by transcribing my own letters to Mr. Sherlock Holmes, which lie before me on the table. Cool. One page you can play and pause. That is so cool. I'm, I'm pretty excited by it. Um, but here's the thing. Okay, so I'm going to call this good for now. But... Um, I don't know if we can actually publish this because it's just a it's a progressive web app right now. Um, Glide Publish Play Store. Please say you can do this. I don't know if I can. Oh bummer. Um, well, that's a bummer. I guess I can't type when I can't see the letters. Um,
thousand bucks a year. Hot dang. Okay, we'll see. Um, So I'm wondering what else. Um, what else is there to do? So I'd be really curious. I wish I could like snapshot this. Um, theme. Been using black, but. Uh, the accent color, I really like being some purples. Ah, that looks terrible. Yeah, it looks really bad. <laughs> Hmm. I guess now that I've seen it like this, it seems kind of weird to go back to the other way. Hmm. What was the accent like before? Was it just white? Or just black? It just been black. Oh, funny! It's not legible. Um. Change it. So, what is the? I forget the material UI colors for that indigo. So on that um, Google, their UI toolkit. So like indigo, 3F51B5. Um, match devices theme. Oh, 
we'll go like this. That doesn't look so bad. All right. Um, general. Classic literature, red. Guess I'll have to come back to that. Google Analytics would be cool. Zap your sign in. Okay. Um, yeah, I kind of like that. I don't know, that one. Uh, multiple books. Yeah, I like that. Let's go with that. That's cute. Okay, so here is a question. Um, how do you do... Did it have that on the... Um, the home screen, it did. I wonder why. Um, Trying to do the, uh, they do an authentication with your email with a pin. Nope, not that email. Hmm, they get sent to spams. Cool. Trying to see what happens when I hit save on something. Cool. Apparently it actually works. Oh, uh, and apparently on this screen. Oh, huh, why did that image not show up? Oh, no, it did. Okay. Layout. So on this list, what if we didn't have the description? What if the caption was actually duration? What if the caption was, you're published? What if the caption was? Nothing. Goes back to the left. We have different cards down here, right? Size. Big cards, small cards, <sighs> tiles.
Um, I forgot what I was going to do. Oh, like, uh, so they said you could do payments. So I don't know how you do that. Um, app logins. Cool. Okay. Um, let's do like account. I don't really know what. Okay, maybe we can just search. What is what is the glide payments do? Glide. Um, Okay, I don't I don't really know. What does this shopping cart look like? Layout. Okay, how do we do this over here? We had title. We'll just do about. And then now I think it might show up over here. Hmm. Hello. I thought that's what I was supposed to do. Oh, right. Add a tab. Derp, derp, derp. Account. Um, let's do the settings. Cool. And then <laughs> I 
All right, components. So I do have a Stripe account. So I'm gonna um, stop this stream for just a second. And then we can do, I'll hook that up. That way I'm not like sharing any of my, you know, actual payment stuff. Cause that'd be bad. Okay. Um. There's so many different like profiles that I don't really know where some things are sometimes. I need to really consolidate them. They all have their own last pass too. It's like, dang. I'm trying to like, yeah, put them down into like two accounts, like my personal account, my work account. And then, you know, whatever products I make under there, it at least wouldn't be like 50 million tabs. Okay. Um, and what's funny is I went back and I had autofilled, so I guess that's good. Yep. All right, so I'm going to turn this back on. Um, so it's connected, but I don't really know what it's doing. Um, so I don't really know what happens when we click that. Yeah, like this this place order. Um, like what's going on in this place order screen about Oh, product info. Okay. Got it. Okay, so name, description, image, product ID, and price. Name, description. Um, image, product ID, and price. Donate. 
Okay, it's a stripe. Stripe name, description, image. I don't know why I can't remember these. Um, let me put them in like a new thing. Each ball of death. Stripe descriptions, stripe image, stripe product ID, price. I'm going to leave the image out, and we'll do that in a second. Um, so let's go back to here. Let's go to the datas. Um, This app takes money to make and run. Please support. Let's say donate five dollars, and then let's add um, new column image, and it's going to be an image. And here we're going to add. We'll add this cute dog. All right. Oh yeah, that's right. We we're supposed to still go in here and connect these. Uh, so stripe name, stripe description, stripe image, stripe. Product ID and Stripe price. Uh, and this button, we're going to say <laughs> I don't really know that that's going to be effective. Um, but, I mean, it's a start. I don't know if, like, if there's a way that I can limit anything, you know. So I wonder, actually, huh? I wonder if we could have like free ones on the home page and when you click it it goes there but then
if you wanted to listen to another one. You could add it to your cart. And then is it possible to email them? Like a zip file? Hmm. I think I'm going to take a break. So like, yeah, so let's say that there's like four free ones a month on the homepage. And then there's a list of other ones that um, you could like preview one chapter for any of them. Or you can like get all the MP3s for that book. Cause like if a conversion takes $2 and 50 cents for, um, for the, sorry, my brain is slowing down so much. It takes 250 to convert like Alice in Wonderland for one voice. Two voices would be five dollars, so you'd have to get at least five people to to download them at like ninety nine cents each or whatever. And I guess you could change that price later. Um, and then yeah, I guess when when they purchase something. We could have a Zapier send an email with a link, like a forty-eight hour link or something like that, one week link, some sort of signed URL, I guess, for the zip file. Sorry, right. yeah. That could be a whole thing. So instead of a donate, we'll just start it off at like 99 cents and then we'll go from there. Okay, so it's like 5.40 my time. I'm up in Alaska. Um, I am going to take a break because, yeah. This has been really cool. Um, so when we come back, we will look at adding that cart. We'll upgrade to Pro, see if we can get rid of some of that stuff. Maybe we'll have like a Zapier trigger. Um, and then we'll add more books. So we've got Alice in Under Wonderland already converted. And then we'll see if we can't get um, a couple of other on the top the top pages um, and then I guess we could we could put them on s3 
I think we need to have a zip of them or something um, that we can email. Maybe we can hook up a domain. Yeah, I have I have a feeling that by um, maybe by tomorrow, we could actually have like an actual app. But it's cool as it is. I mean. I can listen to The Hound of the Baskervilles one chapter at a time in my... Chapter 4. Sir Henry Baskerville. See? Our breakfast table was cleared early, and Holmes waited in his dressing gown for the promised interview. That's not so bad, right? But see, then, if people can download the MP3s... See, that's the thing, is that I download MP3s on my phone, and then I just use another audiobook player, which does, like, the, you know... Like Android, they have a call it call ducking. So it's like if there's a noise, like the or the sound ducking, it goes quiet and then comes back. Um, you could things like you're saving it offline. You are, um, um, being able to change like the speed, do the sleep mode. Like I don't really want to build an MP3 player, an audiobook player. To be honest, I'm just I just want these files converted and it doesn't make any sense for me to spend thousands of dollars converting files just for myself. <laughs> so if I can get people who want them as well to, to pay um, to help support that, that could be cool. So let's make, let's make a checklist cause I'm pretty sure I'm going to forget this. We're going to have like um, four free books of the week or something like that. Um, and then we'll have do 10, 12 total books. Start. And then we'll do um, Each book has a pre preview link for the first chapter. Um, for each voice, each book, for each voice, preview link, first chapter, and Add to cart. Add the cart button. Um, and then we'll have checkout page, which will enter payment. And then we'll do app year integration. Send email with zip. page um, let's add categories filters and then sorting for each book uh, for each voice we can start with just the two for now Um, preview link first chapter require sign in. Add to card button. Then we need like cart page. Need checkout. Enter payment info. 
Zapier integration. Send email with zip. I think this is actually pretty cool. I'm pretty excited. I'm also very brain dead. Um, um, just check real quick. I kind of like that ironic audiobooks. Um, cool. Just going to get that real quick. Boom, 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 boom. boom. I should definitely not be showing that. Cool. I guess that's one of the benefits of not having anybody watching is that nobody tried to beat me to it. Oh, yeah, sorry, it got quiet. Um, I decided to get another domain. I love the domain cost club. So you pay like a membership um, for the year and then all of your your domains are like way discounted. And then it also lets you like, um, the free privacy is the big one. So if you've ever registered a domain and you didn't get the privacy, it's nonstop emails, spam, phone calls. It's terrible. Um, people trying to say, I will build your website for you. Um, and you're like, thanks, but no thanks. Like, I appreciate the hustle, but I don't like the spam. So, um, Yeah, so privacy, but it's it's usually the privacy on other sites like um, like GoDaddy, which I've used GoDaddy for like a long time, like pretty much my whole career, like fifteen years, and only Domain Cost Club in the last few years did I find that. But like privacy is like eight bucks a year with that, at least, right? In the first year when you buy it on GoDaddy, it's a dollar, and then after that, it's nineteen twenty dollars. So you end up paying like twenty seven thirty dollars. Uh, for a dot com every year. That's a lot. The main cost club is eight every year. No gimmicks, no promotional prices, just eight dollars. So anyways, there's a little ad for them. Um cool y'all. Well I appreciate the chilling and the, the following along and I'm excited to come back. I don't know if it'll be um later this evening probably and then maybe I'll just like rest tomorrow and not work. Um, but yeah. I also want to watch now that I saw the Call of the Wild. I wonder if I can find that on some streaming service. And I'll see if my brain is still up for it. But I'm going to go outside. It's still sunny here. So I'm going to go get some fresh air. Uh, which is okay. I'm in Alaska. Our, you know, our COVID restrictions allow us to go hiking and stuff. There's plenty of room to be around out in nature and not around people. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. All right, y'all talk to you later. Bye.